Hey, what's going on? Julian Rosen here. In today's lesson, you are going to learn the one mindset hack that will allow you to become more productive, make more money, and be happier in the process. And it all has to do with managing your attention. Here at Wake Up Wealthy, you probably hear me say this a lot because it's true. We've helped hundreds of guys just like you scale predictably their business to the six and seven figure level, master their mindset, their habits, their mental health, all of this. And across the board, when guys come into our group, I used to be like this too. One of the things that is mismanaged the most is their attention. We treat our attention like it's a uh, like it's an endless credit card and we can just use our attention, we can just waste it, we can throw it around, we can do whatever to it and have no consequences. But what you'll see is, especially as an entrepreneur, especially as a business owner, especially as a leader, if you're in charge of your own income, the most valuable asset that you need to manage with precision is your attention and you will return. You will have huge ROIs when you can start using your attention in a powerful way because we're gonna show you how where your attention goes it's kind of like steering a cruise ship. Where you steer your attention, your mind will follow, your body will follow, and the, and the caliber of your actions will follow, right? And if we're, if we're being honest here, our results are directly driven by our performance. Our performance matters. Performance is everything, and performance is really determined by how your mind and body work together to create a result. And so, because attention directly impacts, it either enhances or shits on your mind, your body, and the action that happens as a result. So follow me here, my friend, take some notes, right? So let's look at what happens when we place our attention on what is negative. And a lot of the times we don't choose to focus on the negative. It happens when we're living reactively. When we're focusing on the negative, it's not because we woke up this morning and we're like, all right, today I'm gonna work out, I'm gonna eat well, I'm gonna tell my wife I love her and I'm gonna focus on negative shit. No one is consciously choosing to do that, right? So really, we focus on the negative. Our attention goes in a negative route when we're asleep at the wheel. When we're on autopilot, when we're not paying attention, when we're not here breathing in the present moment, when our mind's all over the place, it will default to negative. And not because you're a negative person or because you're a downer or whatever, or because life's that bad. None of those reasons. The human mind is a, it's a survival organ. It's here to help you stay alive. And so every human on planet Earth, even the most positive person you've ever met, their mind is inherently going to default to negative because a negative, a negative mind is more alert to threats. It keeps us alive. It's an outdated part of our evolutionary psychology. And so our minds, if left to their own devices, will be negative. They will look for what's wrong. They will look for what's missing. They will look for what might happen next that's bad. If we don't control our technology, our technology will control us. And so, if we let our mind get hijacked, we let our, think of your attention like a spotlight. It can only be in one area at once. If the spotlight's over here, it's not over here. If the spotlight's up here, it's not down here. So your attention is either on something negative or on something positive, right? It can't be on both. You can't have the spotlight, you can't cut it in half. And so when our spotlight, when our awareness, when our attention is being hijacked and distracted and pulled all in a whole bunch of different directions, we're going to default to negative because that's just what the human, human software does when left to its own devices, right? Now let's look at the series of events that happens and how this robs you of production and money. Now, when our attention is being taken from us, what is going on in our mind? Well, when we're focusing on what is wrong, when we're focusing on what, what is missing, when we're focusing on what could go wrong next, your mind changes, your neurochemistry changes, your brain waves change. Literally, your, your, the parts of your brain, because our brain has different hemispheres and compartments, they all start working, they all, it's, like an, it's like a free for all, it's like every man for himself. It's like if every player on the football team was running a different play, right? It'd be chaos. Our mind does that, it decentralizes, it desynchronizes. And so our mind, instead of having this nice super brain effect where all the pieces are working together, all the pieces start to work differently and it, because our body's in threat detection mode. So our neurochemistry becomes messed up, our stress hormones rise, uh, our energy, we start to scatter energy, we start to get tight, we start to lose focus, right? What happens in our body? That's, that's my handwriting, that's the word body, right? What happens in your body? Well, because your brain is decentralized and your stress hormones are rising, your physiology is changing. Your breath becomes shorter, you hunch over, your posture changes. All of this happens in a moment, right? And so your body starts to become less powerful, less confident. It starts to take on this, this, this threatened 
posture. And when your mind and body are like that, that leads to inaction, right? When we are feeling threatened, overwhelmed, and we feel like there's something negative lurking in the next moment, fight, flight, or freeze, right? That's what we do. So we become inactive or we settle for distracting busy work because think about it. You're not gonna take bold, consistent action that can drastically change your life and your business when your mind and body are in survival mode because your mind and body just wanna survive, right? They're too concerned with surviving. They're not concerned with setting records. They're not concerned with breaking records in your revenue. They're not concerned with being a bold leader and helping a lot of people. When you're in survival mode, your brain and body are very selfish. They just want you to survive, right? And this isn't good, bad, right, or wrong. This is just the human technology when left to its own devices, when we let our attention be taken from us, right? This leads to inaction. What is inaction costing you on a daily, weekly, or monthly basis within your business? Add that up and multiply it out throughout the year. That's what it's costing you, right? That, that number is a real amount that you are missing out on, that you are forfeiting when you let your attention, when you just wake up and react to your life and let your attention be jacked around. Now, let's look at what happens when you take control of your spotlight, when you take control of your awareness, your attention, and you choose where to put it, right? You choose to put it on something positive. You choose to put it on, and this is why within the Wake Up Wealthy Brotherhood, part of our morning routine that we have every single guy go through, there's some mindset work, some meditation, and some gratitude journaling that, that, that directly, purposefully, and intentionally put the attention on things that are positive, things that are powerful, things that are happening for them, things that they're grateful for, right? It's not just a feel-good exercise. It actually sets into motion a series of events that leads to more prosperous, profitable action for you, right? So when you're focusing on things that are positive, when you're focusing on ah, the present moment and how everything that's happening right now is happening right now, you're not worried about what's next, you're not worried about what might go wrong, you're not worried about what's missing, you're not worried about you know comparing yourself to other people, you're just here, you're just now, you're focused on the present, right? Your mind, instead of becoming desynchronized, your mind becomes synchronized, right? All the players on the football field start running the same play. All the hemispheres and compartments of your brain start talking and working together for a common goal. Far more effective, far more efficient use of thought and mental energy. Your brain weighs three pounds and it uses almost a third of your body's energy, right? Something so small burns almost a third of your entire fuel source. Why? Because this thing is always working. And so you can either have it wasting energy or you can have it centralizing energy for your own good. Now, when your mind is working together and it's coherent and it's feeling focused and safe, guess what? Your body changes, your physiology changes, your breath changes, your posture changes, right? Your body doesn't feel threatened. So it, 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 it takes on a physiology of calmness, of confidence, of production, right? And when your mind and body are no longer worried about surviving, guess what you can use your mind and body to do, right? Remember how your mind and body work together creates your performance, right? Well, now you can perform action. Now you can actually take new action. Now you can actually take consistent action. Right? And when you take consistent action, then you can actually move projects to the finish line. You can objectively review your results. You can iterate, you can optimize, right? You can speed up how quickly you allow things to work in your life and in your business because you're performing well. You're taking value-driven actions, not wasting time and energy trying to survive a threat that doesn't even exist. So you can see, when you run the cost of what inaction's costing you and you see what's really waiting for you when you get your attention right, when you work, and it's like a muscle. Working on where your attention goes, it's like a muscle. Working on where your attention goes so you can frame your mind and your body in the right way to produce powerful actions, it's a skill. It's a skill, you get better at it and better at it and better at it and then like driving a car, it just becomes automatic. So again, all the positive people you ever know, it's not because they're inherently different than anyone else. They've just practiced this more and more and more and it's become automatic. Same thing with the really negative people you know in their life. There's nothing wrong with them. They don't have the negative gene. They've just practiced being negative so long that it's become automatic like driving a car and now they can do it without even thinking about it, right? And so it's time for you. It's time for you to spend more time on this side of the equation. It's, more, it's time for you to spend more time controlling where your attention goes intentionally focusing on the positive, intentionally focusing on the present so that your mind can optimize, which means your physiology can optimize, which means what you do, your performance, the caliber and consistency of what you do, which is what drives the needle forward in your body, your life and your bank account. Well, now you can increase that. Now you can optimize that. There's guys that come into our group that literally 10X their income and we don't even touch their business. Maybe we do at the end, we give them some tactics, but like a lot of guys, they're talented, they know what they need to be doing, but they're not doing it because they have no control over their attention. We just help guys regain control of their mind and they literally 10X their earnings, personal income, right? And then you layer on the business systemizations and things really blow up and they scale really quickly. But a lot of ambitious guys, it's 
they're not held back by what they lack in knowledge. They're held back by what they're not allowing themselves to do because they're not, they're not in the driver's seat. So it's time to put yourself in the driver's seat and experience this day after day after day. So doing this will, will, will change your mindset. It will give you a growth mindset. It will give you that bulletproof mindset so you can make more money. It will lead to more productive action, which will again end procrastination and allow you to do more things, high value things consistently that align with your goals. That's how you accomplish it. There's no way around it. So use this information. Don't, don't allow this just to become more free stuff that doesn't get integrated. Use it, learn it, implement it, embody it, put it into action until it becomes automatic, which it will when you use it. So as always, if you have any questions, comments, Put them there and we will get back to you. If you want more lessons like this, just like and subscribe every single week. New lessons are coming out. The only intention is to help you scale, help more people, make more money, take control of your mind, your life, and your business. Last but not least, if you want to plug into our proven system that we've used to help 300 plus men predictably scale to the six and seven figure level, well, like I said, mastering their mindset, their habits, their lifestyle, where their attention goes, their mental health, all of that, Wake Up Wealthy Brotherhood. We've helped 300 guys like you plug into the system. Click one of the links below to learn more, book a call with our team, and we'll get you moving in the right direction quickly and predictably. So use this stuff. I'll see you in the next lesson. See ya.